You ever do your hair in the morning and you're just not sure? Does that look good? What's wrong? Why am I questioning any of this anyways? Or maybe later on in the day, you just don't like the result. It started out strong and stiff and then it just ended up all flaccid. All right, don't worry, we've all been there. Today we're gonna cover six reasons why you don't like your hairstyle and uh, you know, steps to fix this. First one on the list and I hear this all the time. My hair flops over later on in the day. It starts to deflate. Your hair starts out nice and volumized and later on you just don't know what happens. It just kind of falls apart, it's deflated or maybe this side looks good but this side's going all wonky. Of course, first things first, I would recommend making sure that you are using the right product for your hair type because different products, they go for different hair types. Also making sure that you're using a good pre-styler and a blow dryer to set that foundation and have your hair last as long as possible. Ascend Volume Cream is fantastic for you guys with thinner or finer hair. And Original is just such a reliable pre-styler as well. But what's more likely happening is that your hair has actually gotten too long for it to stay up and you just haven't noticed it. What I would recommend is going in for a haircut and cutting your hair shorter than you normally would. Embrace a different hairstyle for a bit. And then while your hair starts to grow out again, recognize that balance between your hair being volumized and kind of flowy how you like it, but not so long that it starts to, you know, uh, flop over later on in the day. For me, when my hair starts hitting the bottom of my nose, it's a good sign that my hairstyle isn't gonna last long. And we're getting pretty close, all right? If I want as much volume to last as long as possible, the optimal length for me is kind of just below my eyebrows. So we're getting close to the nose and I know that means it's time to go back in and get a trim. So while your hair is growing out, keep that balance in mind like I was talking about. So every time you go in to get a trim, you know exactly where you need to get it cut to to have that optimal volume that lasts all day. The next reason why you might not like your hairstyle is because it starts to get greasy and grimy and gross throughout the day. I know this is more prevalent for you guys with finer or thinner hair types and I can almost guarantee that the reason is because of the hair products you're using. Of course, making sure that your hair is clean and using products like dry shampoo can help keep that greasy look under control. But the biggest culprit is the types of products that you're buying for your hair. You know, you're only interested in products that say super strong hold, extreme hold, high hold, because it makes sense. The more I want my hair to be held, this says strong hold, I'm gonna pick this. I know hold is something that we all want, but hold is subjective to hair types, just like everything else. So a product that is overly strong, when you mix that with like finer hair types, you're just gonna end up weighing your hair down and gonna be getting that greasy look way faster than if you used a lighter product that's still gonna control your hair and still allow that volume to last, but it's not gonna be too heavy for your hair type. Number three, you've committed to a new hairstyle, but it just looks kinda odd, there's something not right. Either your hair simply isn't the right length for the hairstyle you're going for, so it's either too long for the style you're trying to achieve, or it's too short and you need to grow it out. But a more common reason is because you're choosing a hairstyle that does not complement or work with your face shape. I made a face shape hairstyle guide a little while ago. Uh, if you haven't seen that, you can check that out right up here. But one of the best ways to look for inspiration is to Google celebrities that share a similar face shape to you. That way you can see what's working and what's not, and then make a decision for yourself with what you wanna go after. Number four, this is kinda similar, but another reason why you might not be liking your hairstyle is because you're picking a hairstyle that doesn't work with your hair type or texture. It's easy to see a picture of a guy with a great hairstyle and you're like, aha, I want that. But if your hair type isn't the exact same as the guy in the photo, then your hairstyle, no matter what you do, hate to break it to you, it will never be the exact same. Just like I mentioned above, a great way to combat this is to Google search for inspiration of hairstyles that fall in line with the type of hair that you have. For example, men's thick hair hairstyles, Google it. Men's thin hair hairstyles, curly hair hairstyles, men. You can jumble the words any way you want. Just make sure you're filling in the keywords that has to do with your hair type. There's infinite inspiration and what this does as well is set you up for a realistic expectation. There's no point in picking a hairstyle that you see and you love, but you can't achieve it yourself because then you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. Number five reason why you don't like your hairstyle. You do it in the morning and it looks pretty good. It looks pretty close anyways. It looks pretty close to being good. But you got a lot of flyaways and frizz and loose strands and no matter what you do, you just seem to always have this frizziness going on. It's actually a pretty easy fix. Most guys who experience this are dealing with dry hair. Uh, hence, you know, dry hair, that's where the frizziness comes from. So all you gotta do is incorporate more shine into your hairstyles even if you don't want a shiny finish. This is the biggest change that I personally made in 2019 for my hair. I started using hair oils on a very consistent basis and even pre-styling with fifth sample pomade because of the slight shine factor. Guys with finer hair types usually don't deal with frizz and flyaways as much as guys 
like me with thicker hair. So use more hair oil than you've tried before. Even if it seems a bit overbearing, a little bit of shine is okay and it can often help. And finish off with products that provide a slight shine as well. Also, if you're dealing with flyaways and like the sides, if you're going for a side part, grab some pomade on your fingertips, something with a little bit of shine and smooth over the problematic areas. That's a nice little hair hack for you. But most importantly, don't skimp on the shine products because shine provides smoothness and smoothness eliminates frizz. And finally, number six, the least scientific out of the bunch, but you simply got bored. You've rocked it, you're tired of it, you're ready for a change. I know what's happened to me when I rock the same hairstyle for a while, I'm ready for something to, but Joe, all your hairstyles are exactly the same. <laughs> what I think of that comment. And usually it's not because your hairstyle is looking bad. You're just, you know, you've gone, gone through the paces, you've seen it every morning uh, when you wake up and you're doing your hair. You're just bored. It's time for a switch up, time for a new hairstyle. And when you get bored of that one, you can go back to your previous one or for a completely new one as well. But really your hairstyle probably doesn't look that bad. You're just tired of seeing it yourself. And guys, that is six reasons why you currently are not liking your hairstyle and how to fix it. I hope that you found this helpful. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new and you enjoyed it. And I'll see everybody next time.